Hi there and welcome to another exciting session of training provided by Quicksoft. In this chapter we are going to cover another interesting topic which is split expenses. Splitting the expenses while submitting expense report is a very common need which is required by many organizations who have operations in multiple business units, multiple countries, multiple legal entities. So they, uh, they sometimes do a common expenditure and while submitting expense report they want to have the ability to split it across multiple uh, core center or entity or different level of splitting requirements okay so we are going to cover all this in this chapter just want to update you guys that we are available on youtube udemy and also we are available on teachable where we have subscription based model where you can subscribe for yearly subscription and you can uh, learn at your own pace okay so now let's start the splitting of expenses chapter now what does the splitting allows you as I mentioned earlier splitting allows you to split your common expenses across multiple projects that that could be one example if you are using Oracle projects and then you have a common expenditure like telephone which you are using for multiple uh, project needs but now now when the telephone bills which you're claiming you want to split it across multiple projects based on the usage which you have uh, for certain projects you can do that you can also split when you're splitting this you can split by specific percentage or you can split by amount and result is same ultimately system calculates amount but it's just an ease of entry which you can do you can split by percentage or by amount you can split at the expense report level or at expense line level yeah so there is no option called split at expense report level as such but if you have 10 expense report lines and then select all those lines and then you choose split then whatever formula you give whatever ratio percentage you give it will apply that to all the lines and after that if you have a need for few lines you want to have some change you can go to that line and adjust it accordingly this is just again an ease of data entry a convenient way of doing faster data entry and faster splitting of the information yeah so these are just some of the features which organization need to have the split expense functionality now let me show you how can you enable and what kind of enabling features are available now when you talk about split expenses first thing you need to enable is enable split allocations to yes in system option in our system option chapter we have covered that so you can just go to uh, that the section and enable it split allocations once that is done even if after doing that you go try to go to expense report you will still not see that because there are still additional setups which you need to enable yeah to allow if you want to allow the users to be able to split ag against multiple project tasks and organizations yeah then you should assign a privilege called allocate projects expense now if you have want to allow this to everybody then maybe whatever employee role you have you can attach this privilege to that particular employee role that means that after that to whichever user that employee role will be assigned they will all get this privilege but if you don't want to give it to everybody then what you can do you can actually create a role a custom role yeah and then assign it's just a skeleton role which you can create I will show you that role shortly you can create that role and assign this privilege allocate project expense and then save that role and then assign this role only to the users to whom you want to give that particular privilege this was a project related now if you want to allow allocation to multiple accounts yeah so then similar to projects you have to assign this privilege over an expense account allocation now expense report account allocation you can do the same approach you can assign it uh, to the employee role if you want to give it to everybody but if you want to give it to only specific people then you can assign this privilege to a new role and then assign that role to whichever user you want to uh, want to have this once you do do this it will allow user to change company code and cost center as needed yeah account will come from the expense item which you have and all the other segments will be derived from employee setup which you have defined in the employee yeah so this will allow you to have that facility now what if you have 10 segments in chart of account and you want to have an option that I should be ha able to change any segment as needed yeah because so far I've talked about project I've talked about company and co-center but what about rest of the segment generally 
I have not seen many organization practice that because then there is there can be a lot of variety of entry done by the end user which may not sometime uh, meet your analytical requirement so that when you have the expenses booked you may find users have entered variety of data which may not be accurate enough as i said this is not practiced by many organization but if you really want let me show you that option to allow full account override yeah so if you want to allow the user to have the ability to allow the full account override then you need to do this setup there's a profile option you can go to manage administ administer profile option and set this exam uh, allow full account override to yes yeah I, i'm going to show you all these options so that you understand yeah just want to explain it first and then you run the retrieve latest ldap changes because after you make this change and if you try to see in your user you will not see this any change unless you run this particular program and then after that wait for 10 minutes for synchronization to finish once this is done log out log out and log in to see full account override visible in create expense item sheet screen and also in the split allocation page so these are a few option which you can use to have the split account functionality now i'm going to show you all this in action one by one okay so let's see it in action in the system so first we we'll look at how to enable system option so for that i will go to manage expense system options here if i want global level i can say enable split allocation to yes that is one option i have but if i want spe specific to business unit then i can choose no here for example and then i can go to specific business unit go to edit and then i can say enable split allocation yes at the business unit level so you have an option to do it global if it is a global thing which you want to enable but if you want to make it local then you can at particular business unit level you can enable this setup as needed okay so first step is to enable at system option level for the uh, expenses i have already enabled at uh, sp split allocation here i will complete that and then i will go to next step next step is to allow whether project allocation or expense allocation to do that I let, let me show you what i have done i have this is my user id which i use for my expense entry i have assigned this role override expense account allocation let me show you this role so what i did was i let me just show the role first so that you understand this role i have created inside this role if i show you there is nothing only one privilege only one privilege over at expense code allocation so what i created was i did a skeleton role creation and then i just added that particular privilege to this particular role and then i saved it nothing else so once this role is created then i assigned this role to my employee as i explained earlier if you have if you have your this particular facility if you want to give to all your employees yeah by default employee role does not have this facility privilege i could have done i could have just whatever employee role i have here i could have assigned this to this particular employee ro or role then i don't need to do this separately but that means then this role is given to everybody yeah then everybody will have this option so depending upon your business need choose whether you want to create a role separately i i feel this role unless this is given to everybody this role role is very useful i can assign it to uh, whosoever i need to assign to okay so this was for the expense allocation so if you want to allocate project related expenditures so you look for the role or privilege allocate project expenses and similarly as i shown you you will create a skeleton role and then assign just choose this privilege and then assign that particular role to a user yeah let me just show you one example of skeleton role which i'm talking so that you all understand so what i will do i'll, I'll create uh, a new role i'll go to create role and then i'll give a name allocate to projects financial job roles i can put same description and after that i just have to add a privilege here allocate project cost and then i assign this done after that i go to next next you will notice all this this is already coming as the role hierarchy then i go to users i will assign this to my user qs emp 
it is assigned to the user and then I next I just save and close so now the role has been created now if I go to my QS EMP so this has been assigned to my uh, QS EMP user yeah so this user will be able to do splitting by projects now we have seen how to do the splitting by expense enabling splitting by projects enabling now let's look at see how can we enable if you want to split the or, or you want to change the complete combination of chart of constraint to do that I mean setup and then I will go to profile option which I want to change I go to search and then I search for manage administer profile values here I will search for I search for exm allow full account override and at site level user level wherever you want to set it you can set it here I'm setting it yes uh, at the uh, site level so once this is done that's the step one after that what you need to do is an important step you need to run this program run user and role synchronization process yeah this retrieve latest LDAP changes let this program run it will synchronize the roles and everything and after this program finishes wait for 5-10 minutes and then you need to log in and log out and then when you go into application you will see uh, the user is able to change the full account string as needed so we have seen the setups now let me show you how this happens in action okay now let me go to my expense module so I've logged in as a QS EMP user now so now let me show you if I look at my old trip which I had now for splitting if I want to split at the report level I select everything then I say split allocation now because I have enabled account and project both system is asking me what do you want to split yeah so if I say by project then whatever I, I give it will apply to all the item which I selected now if I choose by account so what now I have enabled full account override see now full segments are visible if I disable that only these two will be visible yeah one of the question asked in one of the implementation was uh, even though system shows both what if the user doesn't want uh, the system administrator does not want the end user to be able to change the entity code yeah what can we do yeah so the only option is if you want to do that you have to do a sandbox box customization of this particular screen where it shows then you have to hide that uh, if you're only showing these two if full account then you cannot do that but if you're only showing these two segment then you can hide that particular field in the uh, sandbox customization yeah now here the split is for all the item which you have you can use by percentage or you can use by amount depending on what you give yeah so it percentage system will calculate uh, or then you enter the amount if you are uh, very sure of the amount or if you enter percentage system will calculate amount so this is nothing special but just a convenient way of calculation I can give one combination here one combination here for the allocation now this was for the whole report let's say I don't want the whole report I just want a specific line then you can select the line and then choose particular allocation now this is only allocating that particular line amount which we want to allocate to as needed okay now let me split this particular expenditure to multiple ones let me go to split account and then I change this one and I say I want to split this to cost under 30 apply once you do the split there is an icon appearing in front of the amount that shows that there is a split yeah so you know there is some allocation done to this line so if I go back to my uh, allocation now the sign changes to update allocation if you want to because you have already done some allocation now I can see this is my allocation if you don't want split anymore you can remove it but if you want to keep it you can have it or you can change it you can add more lines yeah as needed yeah, see now once I put third line it automatically split by percentage because I'm saying percentage percentage split but you can always overwrite say you can say 50 to this line and you can say 25 25 you can I can still overwrite these two as needed okay now this is how you can do and you can save this information another important point you also see these two buttons here apply project and apply account yeah well, now what do these do yeah so let me just select uh, this line again 
this is for updating allocation now let me go to this new line which has not been split so far now what is system telling you it will show you your recently used project information currently i have not defined any projects in my business unit so nothing is appearing here but if i have it will show me recently used one because the idea is most of the time you are just using repetitively same information so why do you want to enter system will show you a list of value to choose now this can be seen in the apply account because if i click on this these are the various frequently used accounts i have yeah so if you have used something recently see that i used the 30 just now for a previous line now it is appearing here like if i want to do here also same thing i can apply that account here yeah so depending upon your need you can do that accordingly if you want to do individual line you can select and do that but if you let's say for these two lines i want to apply a particular account yeah so i come here then i can say apply account let's say i put this combination now I save it. Once I save, if I try to inquire this combination, I should see the complete account string is as per the change which I have done. Yeah, for the previous line also, it should be same. Yeah, see it is same. Another thing which I have noticed, uh, I don't know whether it's a bug or I still don't understand the functionality. So if I click on this, I can see the account code is already updated to this co center yeah so but if let's say if i want to split it further in case so i select that line and i say i want to do split allocation by account it still shows me 20 which should not be it should have picked whatever is changed i i actually close the screen saved and inquired again still it does same I am not sure why it is still picking up same. It should be picking the 30 which I have already changed. Because at the account level it is showing that. But somehow in this screen it is not showing that. So be careful on that when, when you are using this functionality. It looks like a bug to me. Maybe they will fix it in future. So these are the various uh, features which you can understand from split pro uh, functionality perspective. If you have not enabled any of those, all these three buttons will not be visible to you. Yeah, All the, all the setup which I have explained to you. In my presentation earlier if you have not done all the setup then these three will not be visible if you have not enabled full account override then in this screen when you come only company and cost center will be visible these segments will not be visible and even same in the split allocation screen also all those segments will not be visible yeah but now i have enabled full account that is why i can see the full account okay that's all I wanted to explain to you guys regarding the expense report uh, split functionality. Just to recap, in this particular chapter, we have learned how to use the split account functionality uh, available in the system. I've shown you how to enable that functionality because if you don't enable certain uh, aspects in the application, you will not see that functionality in action when you try to create expense report. So enable, we have seen how to do the system option. Yeah, you have to set split allocation yes at uh, entity level particular global or business unit level you can also allow if you want to allow project level split then you can create a new role as i shown you an example and then assign this privilege then assign this role only to the user who should have that but you can also assign to the employee role if you want this feature to be available to all similarly if you want to allow expense allocation when this account expense allocation privilege is assigned then the user will be able to change company and cost center yeah these are two segments which are available to change which they can if depending upon what is available but if you want to allow full account override then you change this profile option then run this uh, program and then after that you will see the user will be able to change the full uh, chart of account string with this we come to the end of this chapter thank you very much for your time and attention and happy learning